Hey everyone, Rachel Means here with Crisis of Crime. Uh, thank you so much for coming to check out my new website. I finally got it launched. I'm so excited. It's something that I've been wanting to do for a while now. So thank you so much for coming to um, visit and to check out the extended content. So I thought I would take this first episode to just introduce myself a little bit further. Um, I'm originally from Virginia. I lived there for most of my life. I'm currently living in Arizona now. Um, I spent a couple years living in Washington State for a little while. I absolutely love it and I miss it very much. Um, I'm from a relatively small town in Virginia, about an hour south of Washington, D.C. Um, as I grew older, I moved a little bit closer to the district. Um, so if anybody here is from Northern Virginia or Nova, I apologize greatly that you have to deal with that traffic all the time. It is awful. <laughs> So if you listen to my welcome episode, you know that I got my master's degree from Boston University. I did do the distance learning program. Uh, it was the most viable option for me at the time when I started graduate school, um, and it was a fantastic experience. I had done a ton of research on distance learning, and Boston University had the highest rated master's in criminal justice distance program in the country. I swear this isn't a promotion, but um, it was a fantastic experience. It was the same professors, same lectures, and everything that they got on campus. We were just in a virtual classroom. Um, and it actually worked out really well that I uh, was living in Virginia during graduate school because I actually met my husband during that time. Um, so there's always a reason for everything. So I'm actually a military spouse. That's why I'm living in Arizona now. That uh, would have been my first choice just because I'm not a huge fan of hot weather. Um, but it's actually really nice and it's working out really well. Um, we're enjoying it. There's definitely a lot of sunshine. So I actually started the Crisis of Crime podcast when I moved here to Arizona, uh, just because we are in a very small town and it's very rural, not a lot of opportunities for a criminologist. And then um, also with all this stuff going on with COVID, there's just not a lot of opportunities open right now. Um, but I absolutely love what I'm doing and I love the podcast and I love getting to do research and learning and teaching. It's, it's just a bunch of things that I'm passionate about all together. So it's, it's awesome. Um, I also enjoy art, different forms of art. I love oil painting. You can see my rendition of Mount Rainier here. It's not quite finished, so don't be too judgmental on me. Um, and I love photography and living in Washington was such a blessing because it's like everywhere you looked, there was something that would make a beautiful photograph. Um, but Arizona is really pretty too. The desert, I, I haven't experienced anything like it before. Um, so I'm getting a lot of cool pictures out here. Um, since we do live in a very rural area, I'm getting really good night photography pictures. So um, we actually went out the other night and I got a few shots of the Milky Way. So it was, it was very cool. Um, but that's a little bit more about me. Uh, so you can now put a face with the name when you hear my podcast. Um, also, the website is really cool. I hope that you check it out a little bit more. You can go to the contact tab, contact tab, it's hard to say, um, and you can send me a direct message if there's any topics that you want to hear about on the podcast or if you have any questions about podcasts that I put out, if you want to expand on anything. Um, I'm going to be putting additional videos here in the extended content, just kind of expanding on things or talking about different sources or if somebody asks a question, I might... Um, Put it on here. It'll all be anonymous unless you want me to credit you or anything like that for the question. But most of the time, you know, if somebody's asking a question, it tends to be that more than one person is also asking that question. So I'll be putting answers on here. Uh, there's also a forum, a discussion board, if anybody wants to go and start some discussions. I'm hoping that we can have some really cool, intriguing conversations surrounding criminology. Uh, so that's it for now. I hope that you guys have a great week and I'll see you next time.